plenty of dark stuff that happens here, but there's a certain amount of innocence in the culture. And maybe that's when McDonald's hasn't completely taken over the land. I don't know what it is, to be honest. In a way, it's refreshing. There's some things that are not refreshing here right now. The situation can be felt, but the way that people Hi. have this, this authenticity, I think that's a testament Hi. to how special the culture is. Mona took me to the skate park. There's a woman skateboarding scene yes. here. You know, I like people who they express their inner something, you know, inner self. So there are lots of people that they pretend living, you know, they're living their life in a way that they don't like to. But I respect people who just put, the, uh, put everything away, like money, everything. Right. They, they go around countries. I really love to come to that level. When you land a trick, no, you feel like you did a great job. You know, you, you did it, you've done it, you know, it's over. And right. there are lots of bad energy that goes away from you and uh, the adrenaline. Adrenaline? Adrenaline. Adrenaline. Yeah. So, Mona, we're in Tehran, right? Yeah, Very cool park in here. And there was this woman, Nagin. She must have been maybe 17 years old. Hello. So focused, so driven, and she was out there in the skate park yeah. trying this one trick on the rail. She probably hit the ground or the rail 35, 40 times. Her elbows, her wrists. She'd get back up, go at it again, go at it again, 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 again. Skating is a tough sport. Yeah. Yeah. You need to give me a lesson. Yeah. I haven't skateboarded since I was like 14. How old are you? I'm 41. 41? Young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So young. So young. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I like you. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> and they said, you know, we feel we feel so free when we can skate. Dude, tell me about <laughs> skateboarding. What were you just saying? It really feels good uh, to skate in Iran uh, because we girls don't really have a lot of freedom here in Iran. Like normal people don't accept people to skate, uh -huh. uh, special skateboard, and like. And skating yeah. is, in my opinion, it's like one of the hardest sports, if not yes, the hardest sure. sport. The moment that you land, that like it's everything. It's, it's everything. everything. You feel adrenaline. Yeah. You feel perfect <laughs> satisfaction. Like, but you might be the toughest person I've ever met in my life. Thank you. <laughs> one more and then I'm done. I swear to God. I swear to God after this I'm done. Mona, I need one more picture. This clouds and this light is perfect. I'm gonna take them up here. <laughs> hey Val. Yeah.
keep skating. It's very expressive, I would say. This guy was doing a quite an intense dance. He's back at it again, actually. I think Iranians are exceptional at dividing politics and people. A lot of people might hate U.S. policy, but they don't hate American people. I've been told that time and time again. It's actually a very pro-American country in that respect. Zero animosity. You can go to the U.S.'s closest political ally, let's say the U.K., and you'll get more animosity than if you go to a foe politically. And it's actually a good thing to be American here. It's so confusing. When you travel alone and you have a country and a culture warm up and come out and help and offer you their, their phones and help you in any way, invite you to their family's homes, invite you to dinners, to sleep at their place, whatever it might be, that's the goal of travel. I want to say to the people of Iran, you have a special culture and you're a special people. It just gets the short end of the stick. How their, how, how their voices, how the beauty of this country doesn't get out. The human side of things and so many people wanted to connect purely, authentically, yeah. I hope this captured some of that. Cheers.